What is up, everybody? This is Joe Granato recording from the Nestmaker Studios. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Obviously, it's been a little bit of a shortened week because of the holiday. Uh, Fourth of July was definitely a time to spend with family, and I hope you guys spent with friends and family as well. But we keep busy. So uh, anyway, uh, before we get started, if you guys are seeing this and you want more updates on Nestmaker on Mystic Searches, please make sure that you are clicking the subscribe button so we know how we have a way to get in touch with you and give you more info as we as we get it um definitely feel free to share and like these videos you know let people know that this is a thing really appreciate it um so uh josh has been very busy working on the music engine he's designing the step sequencer right now which is what's snapping the patterns together in sequences in order to make your song uh, it's not even that difficult to do but it's it's actually really hard to create an intuitive interface for it. The actual, you know, GUI for it is, is kind of tricky. Um, but that's what he's been working on. Uh, meanwhile, I've been working on some more Mystic Searches stuff. Uh, but he did do one thing with a tool that I think is cool that I didn't show last time. Um, you guys saw this. You know, this was what I was showing in the last update where now if I hover over, I can turn on my show screen info. And when I do that, I can hover over and see the screen bits that are flipped. And we're probably going to add to this and, you know, show what songs are there and, and you know, all the, the relevant screen info stuff that, that you might want to see will be sort of off off there in that dock. Um, and I would like this docked too. Um, so you can like click on one and that's what will stay there and you can examine. We may even make it so you can make changes from here. We're talking about that as well. Uh, but... Uh, there, there's some other situations that you might run into where let's say you want to check to see if, you know, your whole string of screens, you remembered that they, they should all be scrolling to the right. And you want to just make sure without having to even click on each one or, or whatever, there's, there's a way that we can do that now where right now let's, let's look at this screen right here. Um, I can actually just right click and go to edit screen info. And when I do that, I'm going to change the type to one. Okay, just for a second. Uh, this has been here for a while. You guys have this feature. If I go to show type, it shows you what type these screens are. And right now, sorry, uh, let's show it to type. Um, and you can see that they all say zero except for this one I just changed, which says one. Uh, all right, so let me put that back to zero. And instead, let me click on screen uses gravity. All right. So now if I put my mouse over it, you can see off to the side, I can't really show if I off over here, it'll, it says screen user gravity. You see it clicked. What I can now do too, is I can hit set map focus to screen users gravity. Bam. And now it shows me that that's flipped. It shows me that this screen does use gravity. So if I had a string of screens, I could see, oh, yep, they're all set the same for that bit. And it's just kind of a handy feature. Um, you know, some people might want to use one way. Some people might want to use the other. Uh, let me get in there and turn off that gravity. But uh, so that's one of the things that Josh has been working on. I think that's a it's a really cool thing to make sure that, you know, everything's lined up the way that it should be or like all the song, all the screens that are supposed to have a certain song are all, all showing the same value for that and that, that kind of thing. Um, so with that said, I want to jump back a couple of weeks to what we were working on as far as the uh, the alternate tile types. I had talked a little bit about how um, I set up these alternate tile types here, all right? So these alternate tile types for Mystic Searches, this one is going to be a water type, and this one's going to be a whole bunch of extra user types uh, that do all kinds of things. And the reason this is nice is it technically gives you 16 more tile types on top of the ones that you already have. The downside is that uh, you can't use them in combination with each other. So for instance, I can't, if th this is my water types, this is water and this is poison and this is uh, lava and this is quicksand, I can't use regular water and lava on, a, on the same screen because they're both using uh, tile type 14 and then it's checking to see their subtype. Um, but it is nice because it, you know, it, you end up getting a lot more tile types that you could potentially use. So real quick, let me show you guys water working. You're going to see something a little bit different and new, and I'm going to have to sort of explain what's happening with it. Uh, I also have music working and, and one of the sound effects in just to sort of start playing around with that because next I'll be working on music. Um, but let's take a look at just normal water. So 
so right now it's just normal water i walk in and i sink and you'll notice that we've got something weird going on when i went into the water you can see it's it, right right through that now remember when we see black on this screen we're seeing transparent we're seeing uh, a transparent color that's showing through to the background and on this screen right here we're seeing sprites being drawn into the background in fact very specific sprites you can see right here in my sprite viewer i've got these two full color peach sprites going on. Why are we doing that? We're doing something called the sprite priority trick with this sprite. Doesn't so much affect this tile type water, but it does affect another one that we're going to use in just a second here. So let's let's take a look at why I'm using it and then we'll talk about what it is. Um, I wanted to create quicksand that you gradually sink into. So let me show you guys what quicksand looks like. And it's still a work in progress, but you'll get the idea. Um, quicksand is, is, is subtype, water subtype number three. And I'm going to just change the color to make it look a little bit more quicksandy. All right. And obviously I could put this on um, different tile sets that look more like sand. This is just a testing ground. So now if I... I'm on quicksand, I'll sink, and I gotta jump to get out. You know, very common in some of these older NES games. I'm kind of stuck, and I gotta I gotta press the A button really rapidly to kind of get out of there. Um, so that's the that's quicksand. And what you're seeing is I'm gradually sinking down. I'm gradually sinking down, right? Let's pause. Okay. So you can kind of see right here, I'm gradually sinking into the sand. The problem is, how do you do that? You guys know from working with Nestmaker, you have a defined sprite. You know, you have this stuff. Um, you have, this is what you have to work with right here. I don't have enough sprites where I could actually show, you know, only part of his body. Ne Nestmaker doesn't understand sort of a real Z value. It doesn't understand that I'm underground. So how do we do this? Well, we're using something called the Sprite Priority Trick. And this is actually one of the first things I learned that made me feel like, oh, wow, maybe I can make a Nest game. I'm, I'm talking like you know, years ago, five years ago. Um, what What's happening right here is it is drawing a Sprite, this Sprite, in fact, the, the Sprite that is uh, a fully solid Sprite. It is drawing it with a higher priority than my character. So if I have something I could use here, uh, here we go. So here's my character. Here's the sprite it's drawing. So it's doing this. So it's masking off that part of my character. It's drawing it right in front of his feet right now. It's drawing, you know, here's his head and it's drawing it sort of right here. Okay. Then what it does is it's drawing this behind the background. So this whole thing ends up getting masked off because this has got a higher priority, but it's drawing it behind the background. So all of a sudden it's hiding this part of that sprite. That's sort of how the sprite priority tr trick works. It works like a masking layer in a graphics editing program. Um, the trade-off of that is if you have any, you know, transparent pixels on your screen, like we do, everything that's black here, you're going to see through to that sprite being drawn with a higher priority, right? So eventually I'm probably going to turn this into a darker color, like the dark blue. Can't re I don't want to use black because then it, I, I want to use this same um, sub palette here that I'm using for my player. So I'll probably use the dark blue and you'll barely be able to tell. You'll be barely be able to see. Um, and I, there might be some other tricks that I can do to get rid of that as well. Uh, but that's, that's how we're making it look like he's gradually sinking in. And that's great for you guys too. Uh, I noticed, uh, I think Silver Island used this trick to go behind trees, right? Uh, he, like you see his character, and instead of always going in front of trees, there's some foreground trees that he actually runs behind. A couple of you guys figured out how to use that trick, and that's really neat to see. Um, the problem with that trick is, let's say you wanted like a, a complex tree like this, right? You would actually have to have sprites that match that shape that you could draw in that place to make it look like he goes behind it. And that gets problematic with the limited amount of sprite resources that you have, but you could do it. That's, that's something you could do. So I uh, just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, and while we're at it, I might as well show you this, you know, the other couple of the other uh, tiles here. So... That is, uh, that's going on with uh, quicksand. If I go to the same one and I put special type two, this is lava. So let's, I don't know, let's pretend I have ashen lava. 
so now it's going to behave. Um, let me make sure that that updated. Yes, okay. Um, and you can see it still says water feature up at the top here uh, because it's still using tile type 14. But now what tile type 14 is is different. So now this will act like a hurt tile. And I get the knockback like that. So cool. Uh, so small, minor things that we're going to continue to work on through the weekend. I got a feeling. Um, just wanted to just show you guys that. Uh, if if you guys are digging these, please again subscribe. We can let you know more of what's going on. We got a lot of exciting things to show you real soon with the music engine. Uh, once you actually start seeing what we've been working on, and not just the uh, the mechanics sort of. Uh, uh, area that you know this test area that we have i think you're gonna be really excited for mystic searches um but yeah thanks so much for checking this out uh and i will talk to you guys next time